Michelangelo joke to be made. You're just the man to make it. We have been tasked to find and protect art that the Nazis have stolen. Well, the chaps are all very anxious to get started. We have your architect from Chicago, a sculptor, a director of design at the School of Fine Arts, and a few other experts in various fields of art. Um, your character in this film kind of butchers the French language. Yes, which I'm capable of doing in real life. <laughs> and and, we, and we, we do a lot of cursing on, on our side of things. And I was going to ask you, who do you think curses better, French or the Americans? I'm from Boston, and there's just no comparing. I mean, we we curse better than anybody. Roger that. The thing about friends like D, 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 you know what I mean? And like, that's not cursing. I mean, Boston, you just, I never realized how much I swear, or I swore, until I, until I got outside of Boston. I mean, we are foul-mouthed in Boston. Oh, boy. It's like fucking this, fucking that, fucking this, fucking. We use fuck as just kind of a, a, a like a bridge to the next se sentence, like where you literally go like, fucking, oh, I know what I was gonna tell you. You know, like that, w w w that's just, we just swear like motherfuckers. Like Olympians. <laughs> the French do it with such eloquence, it almost feels like it's Shakespeare when they go, fuck you. It's yeah, I know, they do the, you know, but, but uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not buying it, you know, you know, but I, I put my money on Boston. And it's the one thing we simply can't allow. Sometimes history forgets some of the people that have done the most for us, that we always, on this thing, finally get some credit for yes, them. Is that something? Yes, they are unsung heroes, really. Yeah. And they really were heroes, yeah. Well, so many of the, 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 the heroes of that time were so underspoken and soft-spoken and didn't really want to toot their own horns a lot. It's what everybody was doing. Everybody had to sacrifice. They had already fought in the First World War. They were past their prime. And they did it because they felt that the loss of culture was so much more important that they risked their lives and go, they didn't have to do it. They understood the value of art, that it, that it was an expression of the very best of what we are and who we are, and, and, and that's worth dying for. And that's pretty fucking cool. If it weren't for us, you'd, you'd be speaking German. What is it like to come together to do an ensemble piece like this and other films that was special like this for you when you were younger? We hit a ball. It's the most fun I think I've ever had doing a film. Um, because the work was good and the goofing off time was, was equally as good. That's the idea. We spent a lot of time together both on and off. And during the movie, we had, you know, we all had scenes when we were alone or with two people or talking. <laughs> but a fair amount of our scenes, we were in a group. I have to tell you, so in one of the scenes, we're driving our trucks around in a sort of a wide shot. And I thought, this is one of my favorite scenes, because I looked at it, we're all talking with each other. Yeah, you, yeah. you really look carefully. Yeah. Right? We're not just going like this. I remember what we were yeah. saying. <laughs> You're going to miss me so much when this is all over. All hell's breaking loose here. We have some unfinished business. Monuments Men is fucking awesome. Who's your daddy?